Hi there, brothers and sisters. Hope all is well with you today. I don't do this very often, but um, on the 11th of this month, I felt in my spirit in the middle of the night um, a word. I just heard point of no return, which I've heard of that saying before and been on journeys where I felt like I'd reached a point of no return, but I felt um, pressed to uh, research it a little bit. And what I didn't know is one of the first things that popped up under research, I guess, is there's a band, Kansas, who'd written a song called Point of No Return, but they spelled it K-N-O-W. And uh, so I found that interesting, and I, I felt uh, like I should research what that meant a little more, because I could understand what no and O return means, but K-N-O-W is like, what, does this, what does that mean? So I did some research, and um, I'll do a little bit of reading about it. Um, Kansas, the band, places this perspective uh, in form of an ocean voyage. Uh, think of the men on their first journey to the Americas and what they must have thought. These men had lived with the understanding that the world was flat and that sailing too far west would constitute certain death, you know, sailing off the edge of the earth. Um, it's highly probable these mariners had friends and family attempt to, to persuade them uh, to, to remain safe and stay home. Uh, the paradigm shift it would require for them to even make this initial voyage. Forgive me, I'm reading because I did have to do a lot of research on this, but until they um, reached dry land, their fears would continue. That distant land was the point of no, K-N-O-W, return. Old myths were shattered and new perspectives created. They could not return to their previous viewpoint as they crossed the point of no, K-N-O-W, slash no, N-O, return. You know, there's, there's a point in a journey where there is no looking back. The journey is steadily underway, and you know that the finish is achievable and in sight. When one ventures forward and gains that knowledge through experience, there is no turning back. The point of no, K-N-O-W, return is a point of no, in a return, to past ideas and experiences. And we could apply this to everyday life and this perspective of no, no return for whatever path or challenges we're facing. You know, some of us might be facing uh, starting a new job or want to pick up a new hobby or even something uh, it could pertain to habits or addictions you're trying to break or beat, got to reach that point of no, no return. Um, let's see, like when you venture forward a little bit at a time, it gives confidence with each step. You know, so don't give up, keep pressing in, keep moving forward. With each step forward, more experience is gained. Keep pushing forward and your body and your mind adapt over time. And know what is, and they, your body and mind know what is expected of it. The further you push, the mind gains confidence through experience. Any fear or mental anguish subsides over time. The point of no, K N O W return, becomes the point of no, N O return. You have sailed free over the edge of the earth and onto a new thing, which is also what I felt in the spirit a lot lately of God's doing a new thing, and He's wanting his followers to join with him in a new thing. I just I believe that's what's going on, you know? And beliefs change with what is known, and there is no going back. It is the point of a no slash no return. So uh, while I was doing this research, I felt led in the spirit to uh, Romans chapter 1, as well as also James chapter 1. So I hope this uh, was a blessing to you out there. Uh, if you want to, please feel free to leave uh, comments on how you think this could pertain to you or your life or daily life. I feel this word can pertain. Anybody could use it for it's applicable, applicable for so many different parts and points in your life. So it was a blessing to you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.